and welcome to the Animag Podcast. Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to Animag, the number one anime podcast on the planet, baby. I'm your host, Asylum, sitting here with... Domicus! Yes, yeah, And as you can tell, we are all jazzed up with energy right now, ready for the pre-grand finale of this season just is this episode 11 yeah yeah episode i'm just 11. waiting for 12 i'm just waiting for 12 my, my thing with this was they could have did so much more but i see what they're doing and i see what they're potentially leading us up to for a finale yeah could it have been better absolutely but in the great stance of rent a girlfriend you know it kind of has to be shit <laughs> So, I mean, uh, the most important part of this episode that we're going to talk about is the very end, like the last fucking minute yeah. before credit roll, because everything else is just honestly filler. Like he takes Chizuru on the fucking date to cheer her up. I'm so sad. Didn't make top 10. <laughs> yeah, I saw. I saw it. Did not hit top 10, bro. <laughs> Fuck. All right. So let's just dive in. All right. We open to Kazuya just waiting for Chizuru to show up. She taps him on the shoulder. She's like, oh, so you're freaking out. Because this dude was sitting there kind of panicking about the date. Intro (laughs) rule. So (laughs) literally just that. That's all we get. (laughs) Love that. After the intro, uh, they're apparently in the middle of Tokyo. And from the jump, you can tell that Shizuru is just kind of like straight up in her acting mode for the rental thing. Yeah, that pissed me off. A hundred percent. That pissed me off. Like, you're telling me y'all aren't on a certain level to where even though he rented you, you can't just walk up to him and be like, all right, what's up, dude? Like, she yeah, that's what pissed me mode. off at the beginning. Like, bro, I'm telling you, this season has really pushed me away from liking Shizuru. Say my girl. Say hey, that's, that's, that's Yay Zay's girl. Oh my girl, that's, <laughs> it's a solemn girl. <laughs> uh, I gotta, I gotta drop her, man. I gotta. Drop that's her. what I will say at the beginning of this episode. It pissed me off. That yeah. pissed me off. Oh like, yeah. After all this man has done for you. Nah, don't that... don't steal my words. I've been saying that all season. I've been saying that all season. Don't steal my words now. Don't steal it now. Don't it's steal just it ridiculous. Now. Mm-mm, mm. It's just ridiculous. I've been saying that all season. Don't say my words now. Don't say my words now. I think I lost my pissness. I will say, like, I will say, Yeze has finally had a valid point here. It took all the whole season, season to show. It took all the whole season. It, it took me a while to see it, but now, now I've I been see saying it. it from the beginning, and y'all just blind as shit. <sighs> yeah, but I dropped it whenever uh, they were at the scene of getting closed. I was like, okay, yeah, cool. I got some thoughts on that too, but <laughs> no, no. So look. Straight up, right away, she asks Kazi off for the money. And she's like, I want to get that part of this done and over with. She ain't playing. And she's just being, like, dry with his ass and in business mode. Because, he, like, he even thinks to himself, he's like, hey, what's up with this fucking act here? So mm-hmm. he even notices how she's fucking being. And he's he's got this big day planned, all right? Kazi is going to be trying to show her a good time. And it includes, like, look, shopping food and a lot more so the first thing they do is go shopping and we see chizuru like trying on some clothes and she likes this outfit okay i told it's asylum before this episode dropped her fit was fire because when i went to um books a million i'm just like scavenging trying to see oh that was the fucking outfit yeah that was the fit that i was talking about i was was just scavenging through the fucking like the mangas i run a girlfriend i seen i was trying to see what book we was on and last episode was on we ended on book eighteen. So you know, let me look at the cover of nineteen. And I was like, bro, her fit was looking fire. And that was the uh the fit she changed into. It was yep, fire. A hundred percent. I mean, and like Kazuya as she had it in her hand, he's like, Oh, it makes a noise. And she's like, Oh, you like this? I'll go try it on. This man made the foolish mistake of saying that he will be buying her anything that she wants. Okay. And she points out here, and she's gonna point this out a couple more times in this fucking episode. She's like, it seems like you're trying really hard right now. And in his head here, he thinks that he's fucking up. (laughs) He's like, oh, fuck. But I mean, he really has put all his thought into this date because like he understands she takes her fashion seriously and that doing this should make her happy. First off, this shouldn't even be a date. This should be a get together to cheer her up. Honestly, it shouldn't even be a date. 
yeah, realistically, like he should have just took her out as a friend instead of renting her, mm-hmm. like we said in the last episode. Mm-hmm. But there's a fat chance that she would have just been like, "I'm not fucking nah, going." She I'm has to going. go for this. <laughs> but then you're not she, my friend no more. <laughs> if she was like that. Fuck you! After everything I've done, fuck you. The fuck. Honestly, yeah. After that, mm-hmm. like that's how you ask Kazuya could know it's time to cut this lady off. Come on, G. I think he just did it to force her. That was the only way to force yeah, her. Yeah, he knew that by paying for it, she had absolutely zero choice to say no. But that's the she thing, though. If you run her out, you'll know she's acting fake or real. He saying. knows she's acting fake. He sees it right off the rip. Bruh, that's what I'm saying. You're just wasting all of our time, literally. But but take but yeah. But she sec. slowly changes. She yeah. slowly she, she she transitions changed. a little bit in the middle of this episode. You heard what you, you said? It? You heard what you just said? A little just, bit. Just, you said, I mean, she transitions enough. Bit. It's enough. It's better than nothing. <laughs> hey, we basically we basically got nothing on this episode. She literally puts the outfit on. Rips the tags, baby. I'm wearing this shit all day. She asked Kazuya to take the tags off, and that man started fucking freaking <laughs> out. He was kind of being weird here too, because then she has to wind up slapping the shit out of him. Yeah, which was like, funny. How the Smack the shit you... out of this man. Like, bro, you've been y'all been together like for a whole two years, bro. Can you cut the act of this bugging out? Come on, she... man. <laughs> Smacks Ooh. his ass, and she's like, "Look, right now we're a couple." And this is what you paid for, so no holding back. <laughs> like, who the fuck is this bitch to tell you this man use that? Your money. <laughs> you use your fucking you money. You wanted this, <laughs> bitch. I could just sit here all day and just collect money. Bro. <laughs> so after the big shopping spree, they're walking down the sidewalk, okay? And here's a, a, a strange part for me, because we see Chizuru ask him if they can hold hands all right and i hate when they fucking do stuff like this with her in particular because like a part of me as a fan wants to think that she's doing this deep down mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. low-key she actually likes him mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but at the no, end of the day no, I, I know see, it's because I she's going, i see where you're going with that because mm-hmm. usually the rental girlfriend can uh they usually hold hands towards the end of the date yeah I caught that. I don't say that because uh-uh, it was, like this, uh-uh, it's, uh-uh. It was the same thing. Uh uh-uh, uh 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 uh. It was nope. the same thing when um. Nope. When they first nope. did a running girlfriend, she just asked her to hold his hand. So it was like towards the end of the date. Yeah, the, at the, the end, end of, of the date. The, at the end of the day, all right, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go towards back. The the end. End. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm not gonna lie. You're saying hey. I'm not gonna lie. You can't really get too close to you. Might you start cutting out a little bit? I'm not gonna lie. Towards the end of the day. It was definitely There you go. The now you sound better. There you go. I'm going to match but this thing I, I don't know, man. This one for me in particular was just a double-edged sword because we know as the viewers and as the people who have read the manga, she does have some kind of fucking feeling for this guy, even though she's acting at weird At this point, about I don't him. even know, bro. I don't even know at this point. But, like, she showed up to this date in fucking, like, work, straight-up work mode. So, ugh. But the there's more to come. There's still more to come in this episode. So, let's get there. And there's another one of those stupid fucking run a girlfriend scenes here where Kazuya's walking with a girl and there's onlookers like, oh my god, look at the fucking hot oh bitch. Oh my god. Why god, do they that put that girlfriend? every That's every definitely fucking my episode. type. Girlfriend? That's definitely my type. I hate that shit. It's every single fucking episode they put one of those scenes in. <sighs> you just ain't so, my show. It's not here my we show. go. Here we go, boys. The big date is happening. His next fucking thing he had planned was a movie. All right. Obviously, Chizuru's into film, so this wasn't necessarily a half bad idea, despite the fact that at the end of the movie, he kind of starts second guessing his decisions on that. But while they were inside the theater, she again right here says, you're acting suspiciously nice to me. But quickly, the conversation changes. All right. Once the movie starts, here we go, boys. They wind up holding hands while watching the movie. A real dream come true for Kazuya. And I want to point out that she was the one who grabbed his hand. Oh my first. god. Oh my god. We waited three years for this. We got, got, the popcorn. We got it. Boy. Have the popcorn. We got it. <laughs> it's just, I don't know, man, because she's initiating the hand holding. It's small things like that you got to pay attention to in this show. All I got to say is three years. And first of all, oh, you know Kazuya was bricked up. Ain't no way this man wasn't. My boy wasn't even yeah. watching the whole fucking movie. <laughs> that man was bricked up. That fit was fine. Dude, he was, he was extremely lost 
in this movie. Like, he didn't know what the fuck was going on. No, he was definitely more bricked up later on. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. He kind of, like, second guesses this shit because, like, he didn't understand what the movie was about. He's kind of scared that Shizuru was also going to not be into it. But she, like, runs up to his ass and she's gushing about it for a little while. And then out of nowhere, I assume she realized that she was just nerding out to him and she just kind of like stops loses her expression and she's just like yeah the movie was good you see but, what i'm talking about you see <laughs> but kazuya saw what he needed to see and he realized it was a fucking hit and that all his research had paid off that's all he needed to see was that one little moment of just being a nerd about it if kazuya would have actually paid attention he would have seen that longer <laughs> yeah so the next thing they do here we go he's rolling he's working they're going to get some food, all right? At a pretty decent restaurant. You mean and going after, bankrupt? Huh? Going bankrupt in that restaurant. <laughs> Not the first one. The second one, he's going to go bankrupt. So they look at the menu for a little while. And here's where we, here's where we go. Chizuru puts her head in her hands, all right? And she looks at Kazuya and she says, Admit it. You're worried about me, aren't you? This man literally turns into stone, okay? <laughs> and... She basically says, look, I told you I'm fine, and this date is just too much. So don't tiptoe around the fucking issue. That makes it a little more awkward for me. And he's like, what? It's not like that. Bro, no, Arthur could have did so much with that scene. Because they literally talked about the dead grandma for like a minute and a half. Yeah. Have, like, got like a five-minute di- yeah, five dialogue about the grandma and how she felt. But Arthur just said, fuck you. We're going to get a minute and a half. I mean, yeah. Probably, it, they probably talk about it in the manga. Because you're on a tight schedule. I don't know, though. I feel like he kind of got enough in this scene. Because, like, she thanks his ass for the projector thing that he did in the hospital. Which, mm-hmm. you know, that kind of was left on a fucking dry note. He he put it on and then that was the last of that. And she says that she, she thought about him. And she thought about when she was going to talk to him about this. And decided to just break the fourth wall while on the date. I don't I don't think we really needed anything more. I mean, what she's going to tell this man about her and her grandma crying as her, as her grandma died and just ruined the fucking date. First, I was shooting me a date like I told you, bro. But it, it is. is. It, but is. it is. It is a date. You can't say it shouldn't be. It is. We're reviewing a date. It is a date because it's fucking character. But what more could you possibly want from that conversation in the first restaurant for the grandma? Exactly. <laughs> this is how you know Yeze is a rookie reviewist when it comes to rent a girlfriend. Uh, rookie, re- you say rookie. This this Football, show. You talking this to the man. ten this times back to back blockbusters? <laughs> what I've been Timmy's <laughs> slash the Weibel snowball stand. Yeah. What I've been telling Timmy's. y'all all season. <laughs> what I've been telling y'all all season. She was gonna act the ass, and y'all not this... believe me. If you put more information about the grandma in that particular scene, it's the show already, this season is already a fucking fluff season, all right, with very little action. That scene just drags ass if you start adding, you know, like, oh, yeah, my grandma took her last breath while holding me. Like, we don't need to know that. We already saw that. He doesn't need to know that. That's her personal business. What she needed to do right there was thank his ass for the, the projector thing. And say like, yeah, because he's like, yo, did your grandma even get to see any of the movie? And she's like, a little bit. She got to see enough. She thought it was great. Even though that was probably a lie, because I don't remember her grandma saying, oh, the movie was wonderful. I think she did. Did she? she Yeah. Yeah. I think she she did. Okay. I mean, I don't know how you're accurately judging a movie and you're only watching like five minutes of it. Scammer. But that's just my opinion. (laughs) She's grandma's a scammer, dude. (laughs) <laughs> she had on Yelp. <laughs> Leaving a bad review. After the lunch, Chizuru says, look, you've already done enough for me. I can't ask any more of you. And Kazuya's like, look, this is what I want. I just need you to tag along with me. All right. And there's a scene of just him right here. And he's like, she has no idea that the date is about to be kicked up a notch. New gear starting now. Kazuya's going into Gear 5? Anal? <laughs> gear 5? Confirm? Kazuya's hitting Gear 5, baby. Gum gum fruit? <laughs> gum gum penis! Right, just stretches that thing at her. So, what is and your honestly, problem? like... Oh my god. <laughs> I, can see, I can see how the date went into secondary gear here. Because the next thing they do is go wall 
rock climbing, okay? And he remembered from the past when him and Chizuru had done it once before how good she was at it, and she liked it. But truthfully, I think he had a little more of a devious plan in place because he I knew th- she would help his ass have to stretch and have to, like, touch on him and rub on him. And we all know that's what that man wanted. I think when the last time we went rock climbing, I think that's when we found Ruka, I think. I, yep. think, I think that's when we found It her. was? Because I think it was a double date. <clears throat> and then oh. I think that's when they found Ruka. She has on the same outfit in this scene that she had on for the first one too and she's like getting ready and they're they're showing like her titties mm-hmm. jiggling and Kazuya's basically nutting himself because <laughs> he had his hands on her back like helping her stretch and he's just like <laughs> bro and this is like the finger game <laughs> I was about to say they should have put the moan from the finger game right there <laughs> He was like, like he was like, fuck? he was like seeing the back of her neck exposed through her hair, getting bricked the fuck up from that. Like, come on, kid, get real. Yeah, this ain't my show. Oh, this it's is not this my... is that you gave it a you gave <laughs> this season a ten on an episode. It's <laughs> that your is show. true. That's it's your show, show, my friend. <laughs> this ain't my that's, show. That's not <laughs> our show. <laughs> it ain't my show. <laughs> There's a moment while Chizuru's climbing where she thinks like, oh, I can't go any higher, and out of nowhere. Big Dick Kazuya tells her what to do and where to put her foot. And it works. And she's like, where the fuck did you learn this? And he's like, oh, I just Googled it. But the truth was, he had gone in days before this and practiced his brains out. You know, But this shows that he really put his fucking all into this date. He mm-hmm. wanted to come in with fucking knowledge. And then he wanted to make it the best possible time that she could have. Man's putting in work. She makes it to the top and she like falls down. All right. She gives Kazuya this big ass high five to show her excitement. All right. His date's working. She's starting to let loose and have a little bit of fun. Unfortunately, it took most of the fucking day for her to (laughs) let loose, but whatever. So after this, she's hungry again. Well, turns the fuck out. Kazuya had planned for this and he made reservations, but he made reservations at a super fancy and expensive restaurant. All right. (laughs) That was his first fucking downfall. Should have just took her to McDonald's, called it a fucking day. Hot and spicies. Two hot and spicies. I I actually don't think they could get hot and spicies. I think it's only a fucking Louisiana thing. Yeah, I think it's only Louisiana. They don't even have them in Texas. No, oh, he's missing out. How's y'all? Yeah, and fucking Wendy's. Out. I went to Wendy's uh, in Galveston, bro. I asked for a 50 piece. They ain't got the 50 piece. Whoa. Yeah, so I think we're like the 50 piece in uh, Louisiana, I think. God damn. Because we're fat, bro. Because Louisiana people are fat. Indeed. Well, Send it here first. As they walk into the restaurant, Shizuru notices how fancy it is. And she's like, what the fuck? Did you strike oil or something? And he's Whoa. like, oh, I just fucking budgeted <laughs> for this. <laughs> <laughs> Although, pretty much for the rest of the fucking date, we see him looking at his wallet, just being empty and like oh. crying about it. Mm-hmm. And Cheezer was like, all right, if you say so, but you're not getting a happy ending out of this. <laughs> and he's like, what? Bitch, I better give me a fucking happy ending. <laughs> all the shit I done did for you today, if I ain't getting a fucking tuggy first at the end of this date. First off, this man. Tuggy, tuggy. <laughs> man, slave for some extra cash. Oh, he did Been slave. Her, run her off for like 10 hours, so that's probably bank that he just lost. Pay to go rock climbing, pay for mm-hmm. the first meal, mm-hmm. pay for the fucking movie. Mm-hmm. And then, then, he had to, then he had to try and figure out how to loosen her up throughout the date until she finally loosens up. This man's in deep. I better get, me, I better get some, some treatment after this. That's true. Better say. not give me a dry hand. <laughs> At least put some ocean on that. Lotion on that. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shing, though, spit on it. Come on. Something. Put some of that uh that no, butter from that crab sauce on it. Too much for that. her to spit. <laughs> Not that. <laughs> so right as they're going to get seated, Chizuru sees a little girl with her grandma, and that kind of threw her into a flashback of her with her grandma. And it kind of throws her for a little loop here. Mm-hmm. All right, but she doesn't let it ruin the dinner, which is I guess to me that was like the first spiral which is gonna come. I think later in the play, like at the end of the episode, when she like fucking loses it. Because mm-hmm. Good, we need it. We fucking need it. Spoiler alert, she loses it at the end, but she doesn't let it ruin the fucking fancy dinner. And they sit down and they destroy some crab legs. 
she even offers Kazuya the first bite. All right. And she's like, <laughs> she dips it in the butter and she's just like flopping this thing in his, this man's mouth and he's like mm-hmm. oh, and just sucks it oh, bro oh. pause pause I, I, uh, you gotta pause it man pause oh my god visually that part was fucking hilarious to me right, after <laughs> after the big fucking fancy dinner <clears throat> he's like yo I got one more thing planned for this date she's like oh okay the final part of the date was at night. He took her to go pop some fireworks. Oh. So within the pack, there's some sparklers. And this throws Chizuru yet again into another flashback uh, on her as a kid with her grandma because apparently those were her grandma's favorite. So she lights one and she's looking at it. And Kazuya goes to get a bucket of water to be safe because they got like this thing burning to light the ship. Mm Mm-hmm. And on his way back with it, he sees Chizuru like hunched down and like her back's facing him and she's just like shaking. Like, like she's about to go crying. Like she's about to go right. super saiyan. Cause like, cause like the hair's like covering the face so you can't hear that you can't see the face and she was just shaking like she was going super she, saiyan. She had a big fucking like massive flashback also just to point it out of her with her grandma and grandpa fucking with sparklers and shit, whatever. It obviously gets her depressed, and she's sitting there shaking and crying. The episode closes with Kazuya looking at her back while holding the bucket, and that's literally mm-hmm. a credit roll. Bro. This finale this, better be good. This has this potential. has the potential for it to be a big finale, because this is his chance to walk up behind, drop the bucket, fuck the bucket, all right? If the forest catches on fire, you don't care about <laughs> that right now, Okay. <laughs> Listen to old Uncle Asylum's advice. You walk up behind her and just give her, just grip her belly from behind, give her a massive fucking hug. Not in a creepy way, but more in like a supportive way. All right. And a I think big she suplex. would appreciate that. <laughs> fucking dead live German suplexer. Stop crying, bitch. <laughs> I think she would appreciate that more than anything. I know deep down inside we're not going to get that. It's going to be some bullshit where he's just like, you okay? But... That's it, boys. That's episode 11. Kind of dull. Just give us the season one ending and actually, like, confirm the relationship. See. (sighs) And then season four is going to be getting rid of Ruka. (laughs) I don't (laughs) think so, man. I genuinely think they're going to just blue ball us, leave us on a massive cliffhanger of, like, he shows, like, real emotion. They have a breakdown together. He tries to do something. Maybe they kiss. Maybe they kiss. Maybe. That would be fucking big. Who's to say? But I don't know. I don't want to kiss. I don't know. I don't want to speculate too much because every time I speculate, it's not even close to what the fuck I was thinking, and it just pisses me off. And it makes me not want to watch this fucking show. I don't know, man. I don't know, boys. Tisk, tisk, tisk. For a second to last episode, I'm a little disappointed with this one. Mm-hmm. Unless the finale pops. Then I can understand the value of this episode setting it up. But did they really need to waste that much time showing us that much mm. of the fucking date? They could have did like a, a speed montage of it. We see that they go to the movies, boom, flip, fancy restaurant, boom, flip, rock climbing. They didn't need to show us like in detail the entire fucking date. To me, my next episode is gonna be Ruka going to the amusement park. What's talking about <laughs> episode, <laughs> they completely drop the Chizuru shit, and it's just him taking Ruka. Uh, uh, camera is messing up. Yeah, I'm about to see camera. Fucking, <clears throat> I, I I have to hit this one with a fa- a six. I hit a it with six? a six. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not yeah. gonna lie. That's what I was thinking too, because it wasn't me. Uh, it, like at it, the it, beginning, that's the only thing that pissed me off. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it has its flaws and shit. It's not fucking ultra high action and shit, but if they do what I think they might do, they're setting it up for a big finale. Other than that, it was kind of a fluff episode, but giving the very end of it, we might be heading into something major, boys. Mm-hmm. If they if they kiss. Or if they, or if he at least grows some fucking balls and walks up behind her and just hugs her while she's crying, 
I'm giving the next episode a 10 out of 10. That's all Dude, it is. It's going to get erect and she's going to feel it and she's going <laughs> to Wait, you say you're going to give it a 10 out of 10 she hugged behind him? If, if, if yep, if Kazuya. If he grows the balls, yes. If Kazuya Boy. drops the bucket and just walks up behind her as she's crying and just rips his arms around her and just hugs her, doesn't say anything, they just have a moment. 10 out of 10. Because that's what we want. I'm not going to hop on the episode. Yeah. I'm not going to hop on that. What... I'm not hopping on. I'm not. How's this man going to miss the finale? Ah, right, that's the bullshit. Over a hug behind the back. This man done slept on fucking episodes this season. Gave a 10 out of 10 on this season. And he's trying to miss the finale. Yeah, the only hype episode this season? <laughs> Come on. Honestly, tree yeah. on here. Tree. Oh, yeah. Tree. <laughs> We're going to have to replace EZA with Tree. A real anime reviewist. <laughs> I want to think you review is Kendrick Lamar. No. Oh. All right, man. What you what you giving this bad boy? What Domicus already gave his rating? Yeah, yeah, I gave it a six. Domicus is sitting at a six. Bro, oh my god, we're giving this shit a six, bro. It's a six, got bro. It's nothing what it until is. In me. last episode you game. said it was me. And also, and gave it a low rank. Also, as a side note, I understand that it is technically just a fluff episode for majority of it, but things that helped me with the rating was the fact of how much work and attention Kazuya put into the date. He's been around Chizuru for that long. He knows what the fuck she likes. He studied her. He looked up shit. He's like, all right, she likes rock climbing. Let's go back to the fucking place where we once had a great fucking time. She likes to shop. I'll buy her clothes. She likes to eat. I'll get her fancy food. Like that man really put some thought into this date. It wasn't just a half-ass thrown together date taking him to the sea. Like I thought he was going to copy Sumi, take Chizuru to the sea candle, try to look up her skirt as they walked up the stairs, and guess what? He didn't. He really put a good date together. Hmm. We would have seen the same old gift that we had it to <laughs> slide down made. all those sea candle <laughs> stairs. So I know Yeze's got to be at about a nine or a ten mm. at the very least. At the yeah, very yeah, least. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, I'm very disappointed on how this episode ended. Honestly, <clears throat> this for this shouldn't even be a date. Like I just told you, this should have been a one on one get together as friends. I do agree Literally. with that. Yeah, yeah, I but can't... would she's do that? That's, that's that, that, again. Thing. That's the big fucking argument against that. Is like. And she, that's, she would have easily said no to that. She can't say no to a job. But that's the thing, though. That's the thing, though. That's that's who's gonna let us see if she a day one. She's not. We already know she's not. But I've been trying to tell y'all all season. I've been <laughs> telling y'all that all season. Literally. Look, let, me, let me tell you. I was blinded. Okay. I thought she was better <laughs> than that. <laughs> and now I know yeah, the truth. A, let you see the truth. Let you see the okay, truth. Okay. First of all, the real MVP here. Mommy? No, what my God. <laughs> Bro, we only seen her like for like we saw five her, like, seconds two, this season. We saw her two times this season. That's okay. That's okay. She's taking her time. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have a budget for Mommy this season. Mm. But you know something juicy goes on whenever she's on there. I, just, I mean, I don't know. Because this season, they showed That's her like twice season. for three seconds. It wasn't that juicy. <laughs> <laughs> the, one of the first ones was her sitting in class like eavesdropping. Mm -hmm. on a conversation like yeah mm. the only thing that keeps her in the back of my mind is like the thought of like what the fuck is she plotting i know she's in there doing something big i'm just waiting for it we already know when they start showing that thomas is throwing out so many tens it's mommy's son <laughs> <laughs> all right man we got we're waiting for zay's good old rating on this bad boy yeah, this man cut me off literally let's, let's see let's hear it <clears throat> And um, it was hard to tell if she was actually for real or just faking for this date. Honestly, that was kind of a letdown. <clears throat> My man is bankrupt after busting his ass. That's a sad <laughs> thing. She 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 showed a little bit of feelings at the end by shaking her shoulders. <laughs> so we might get some next episode. Hopefully, if if we don't get in the next episode, just don't expect me on the, the next one. Honestly, it's the finale. It's the, yeah, it's the finale. If it's the finale, then I better be having me coming in my chair, literally. I'm telling you, dude, he's going to hug her. I'm throwing a 10 out of 10 on the board. Because it'd be a waste if you don't if he, show up on the finale and you show up from 1 <laughs> through 11. <laughs> if he kisses her, 13 out of 10. You can't do that. I'm doing it. 
You can't do this. I make the, rules. <laughs> I make the fucking rules here. I don't put a thirteen make the out of ten. Damn rules. Hugs, I'm kiss, not... slap it on the ass. 20 oh out my of god. 20. <laughs> this is Thalmachus. Sees a girl crying, smacks her ass. Cheer up. <laughs> I think that I think that's how you get arrested so fast. That's how you get an assault charge. <laughs> yeah, that's how you get arrested so fast. Yeah. Um, yeah, don't don't take that advice. Don't do that. Yeah, please don't do that. Yeah, please don't. <laughs> They're gonna fucking go to court. Any Max told me to do it. Any Max said it was fine. <laughs> hey, no, we didn't. No, the yeah. fuck we didn't. Next thing we getting calls from the fucking nine one one. Why would we get calls from nine one one? Cause we told oh, him to no- do it. Nine one one calls us. <laughs> yeah. We have our own hotline. For real. That's, That's how famous we are. Email. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Come on, so it's with the rating. Yeah, but y'all kept fucking cutting me off because I kept saying some bullshit. Just give us a goddamn number. Yeah, just bro. give us the numbers, man. The number for this episode was so dull. I'm giving this goddamn thing a goddamn fucking four. <laughs> Ooh. Literally. Because we oh. literally got nothing except for this uh, filler episode. Except oh. until. We got a well thought out date. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this man bro this, this man, man uh, you can tell man. he just likes those wow. action dragon ball 30 year fight uh, scene animes bro. first off first off, i've been watching the graph before i even started reviewing it so Jesus i'm a day one christ dude. i'm a day one y'all not a day one i'm a girlfriend i'm a, I'm a day yes one. we're day ones i've been watching it before longer than y'all i was watching and it me before. me and thomacus me and thomacus are the fucking main reason they did a season two and then went into three because exactly. we were reviewing the but shit we, we saved back. We uh, saved this fucking show. Bro. I literally was watching when the, like, it was literally dropping season one. Yes, us too. Oh, stop lying. We were in the boat, stop man. That's why we, we thought about it. We were like, man, we should review it. It's a great show. Mm-hmm. And then look, our review got so many hits. As soon as our season finished, they announced it. Oh, we're doing a season two. To be honest, it did take us long because we were watching all the episodes. We did it like... We didn't yeah. do it episode by episode, so yeah. Yeah, because it was already done by the time we decided to review it. All right, then. So I'm a day one. I'm an actual true day one right here. I watched it while it was airing. Oh, stop Come on, on now. now. Come stop on. Stop on. <laughs> me a lot to the fans. I'm a day one. I'm the only day one up in here. Yeah. Yeah, I literally was watching when, like, pretty much episode three was dropped. Season one, episode, episode three. three. Yeah. I've been watching well, then it that's, since that's then. A, that's a day three, my friend, not a that's day one. Oh. That's a week three. That's a week, week three. three. Oh. That's a week three. Oh. 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 This, this man's running on fantasy football draft schedules. Week three. Man, I could have reviewed it before I even dropped y'all review. Literally. It doesn't matter. We had the big brand behind us. That's why I got views. Right. Uh, you didn't. I didn't because... We, this, here's what Andy Mag is all about. Digging up dead shows from the grave and getting Bullshit. them season twos. And threes. I wasn't even fucking wearing my review in this damn shit. I was in high school around that time when it first <laughs> dropped. Yeah, we were out here fucking grinding. Out here grinding. <laughs> well, y'all was out here grinding. I was out there playing sports. Oh my god. <sighs> that explains it, boys. That explains it all. So, anyways, that's pretty much going to be it for this my week's hero. episode. My hero. Beautiful juice. There's really not much more we can honestly say about this fucking episode. Aside from the fluff, the bottom part was the more important part to set us up for fingers fucking crossed. Hopefully, a, a good, good fucking ending. If it's a if it's a bad finale, like if it's dull, I don't I don't really don't know if I want to be back for season four. <sighs> Who said I was coming back? <laughs> hey, oh, whether you come back, back or not, me and Thomas have back. to do it. <laughs> Hey. We're dedicated to this particular show for some yes, odd We're already in last... season three, so we have to go into season four. <laughs> if this last episode is ass, you might just put a memorial for me, literally. Just put a memorial. <sighs> Bro. I I don't know, man. I wanna say, like, I wanna deep down from my heart say, oh, it's not gonna be ass, but like just judging it off of this season. Oh I don't know, man. Bro, the last, like I told you, the last hype episode we got was episode three. That was it. That was the only hype episode, realistically. And, like, I'm only rating this one a six, really, because of the work Kazi I put in. I'm not really rating it because it was a fucking, like, great episode or anything. I'm really mm-hmm. giving him the credit. 
<sighs> I'm just hoping like she cries. Okay, here's here's the big scheme at the end of the day. I'm hoping she cries, realizes how much work he puts in as she as he's hugging her. She turns around, kisses him on the lips, and says thanks for everything. Yeah, right now we probably won't get like a this man <laughs> screaming at the top of his lungs about how <laughs> she should be like. Oh, I don't even know, bro. All knows that she. All knows that he's gonna be screaming at the top of his lungs, trying to have a conversation with her while she's crying. It's always she. Every time <laughs> they do have a conversation, when it comes uh, to start, when to start talking about feelings, this man starts screaming for some fucking reason. He starts screaming. That's what he does, man. He's like Luffy. Oh, Get your fucking I'm, head in the game. I'm just thinking of uh, back on uh, Masamune. Con- no, Orange. You know how? Uh, fuck. Not Hagida. Kakuro was was like, oh, Naho, I'm going to give you something to close her eyes. And you made that joke of unzipping the pants. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Chizuru turns around. Kazuya's just got his dick hanging out his pants. Zip. And he's like, oh, I read this situation way wrong. Because what if like, okay, because you know how her back's turned to him and she's like shaking. What if he thinks she's like fingering herself or something? She's got a skirt on. So he's like, oh, fuck, yeah, takes his shit out. She turns around. She's like, what? calls the cops man's goes to jail <laughs> big fucking plot can't, twist in the rent a girl for you really long. can't go to jail yes for indecent exposure She's you can 100 percent go to jail for that <laughs> she's for break free and cause you i thought it was more in a pub- i thought it was like more of a, like a public area i think it was they're in a park they, in a, they are in a park they're literally <laughs> in a fucking park yeah but like nobody there though it doesn't matter if you get caught, like, banging a chick in your car, just on the side of the road, like, you're gonna mm-hmm. go to jail for indecent exposure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bro. You better park that car in, at your house. But yeah, better park it in, in a, like, your mm-hmm. homie's yard or something. Yeah, I did. I did in the parking lot before. Two. I'm gonna Ooh. park in Yeze's driveway tonight. The cops are gonna see, mm-hmm. gonna hear this, and be like, oh, yeah, this is the guy. We <laughs> this is him. This is him. Come on, man. <laughs> We've been searching. We, we haven't seen <sighs> So right, they've, well, they've been searching for two years. That'll be something. And that was a long time a ago when I did that. Wasting a lot of fucking money <laughs> trying to catch this man. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> well, all right, guys. That's pretty much going to be it for this. All week. right, guys. Make sure you like, <laughs> subscribe. Make sure you share the video to you, your family, your dog, everybody, your pets. Make sure to check out OT Mom. Check the link down below. Use code Animat when you're checking out. Make sure you support the club, the family, the community, everything. <laughs> Come on, Thom, because where's the cup? Where's the cup, man? Where's the cup? <laughs> man, it's I don't laugh. have it on me right now. Come oh, on! Oh, my what are you God. Doing? What are you doing? Wow. I was going to go get it, but then it was too late. Bro, oh, y'all God. go run and go get it. You also forgot to say, like, follow us on everything. Follow all of our TikTok, YouTube, Twitch. Yeah, go check us out on social media. All that. Instagram, Facebook, MySpace, X. Uh Huh? What the the hell (laughs) did I just see? What, me? Yeah. Uh, I'm clearing my throat. Post it on the fucking thumbnail. (laughs) I, I, what? I didn't have them full screen. That shit was funny. Anyways, take it easy and... <laughs> I can't. I can't, bro. I know. <laughs> All right, man. Cut the fucking video, bro. I'm done. Thank you for listening. Be sure to visit our website at www.animag.org. See you next time. <laughs>